On line one is Joe Q. Public and his wife, We the People. And they're calling in, and this is their question. Dave, we make $58,000 a year. We have been spending around $75,000 a year while we make 58000 We have $327,000 in credit card debt. How do we get out of debt, Dave? Well, what would I say if John Q. Public called in and his wife, We the People, and they said, we make $58,000, we are spending 75000 and by the way, we're real excited about this Dave Ramsey thing, and you know, everybody around the country, all of our brothers and sisters are calling us and telling us and encouraging us, and so we've decided this year we're going to cut spending. And instead of spending 75000 while we make 58000 we're going to spend 72000 while we make 58000 and we're going to call that success. These are the actual numbers. I, I changed them slightly, but that's the exact ratios of you of me, of we the people. We are $16 trillion in debt, spending $3.7 trillion a year while taking in about $2.9 trillion to do that. And if you do a little bit of multiplication, a little bit of math, the ratios are exactly what I just laid out. We make $58,000 a year. We're spending $75,000 a year. We're proposing big cuts to seventy-two thousand dollars a year, while we make fifty-eight, we're three hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars in credit card debt. Of our fifty-eight thousand dollars a year, we spend almost ten thousand dollars a year on interest on our three hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars in credit card debt. Now, let me ask you something, America. If you were sitting in this seat and someone called you with those numbers. What is the first step for them to get out of debt? Well, the first step is they can't go into debt any further. Would that be correct? Well, but but they're they're used to living on seventy five thousand dollars a year spending while they make fifty eight thousand. So they're going to have to cut about twenty five percent of their budget. About seventeen thousand dollars is going to have to be cut just to get to break even, not to make any progress on the credit card debt, but just to not add any more to the credit card debt. Now, let me ask you, if you're living on 75 or 80 grand a year while you're making 60 and you're going to cut your income down to 58,000, you're going to cut your your lifestyle that you've been used to down to that, do you think that's going to be pleasant? No. I think that your teenage daughter is going to be really mad when we cut out her cheerleading coach. And I think when you sell Mama's SUV, she's going to have a fit. And I think when Daddy's Harley that's in the basement gets sold, he's going to have a fit. And I think that when we don't go on vacation, we don't eat out, and we're on beans and rice, rice and beans, that the family is going to be uncomfortable. No, they're going to be mad. They're going to hate Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey said, Dave Ramsey said, Dave Ramsey said, it's all Dave Ramsey's fault. That's what's going to happen, isn't it? As soon as this family decides to straighten up and fly right, as soon as this family decides we're not going to spend seventy-five thousand while we take in fifty thousand and have three hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars in credit card debt, we're going to have a fit. We're going to stick out our lip and our tongue, and we're going to stomp our little foot, and we're going to have a little red face, and we're going to be mad. Dave Ramsey said. But there's not much other way for John Q. Public and his wife, we the people, to return to financial health, is there? And cutting a $75,000 expenditure while you make 58000 by 3000 or $2,000 is... It's laughable. And it won't work. 
It's more politics as usual. And this isn't the Democrats or the Republicans. It's both of them. Both of them have learned to spend at a level that would make you throw up if you were doing it at your house. And they're bankrupting our country. Both of them. Now, they both talk a lot, but neither one of them have presented anything like what's going to have to happen. It's going to be very painful. It's going to be sad. Because did you know that almost half of the $75,000 that are spent in our example is on Medicaid and Medicare and Social Security? There's no way to balance your budget and leave Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security alone. It's mathematically impossible. You could do away with all government spending, not counting welfare, Medicaid, Medicare, and defense, and Social Security. Do away with all other government spending and not balance the budget. Close every single federal office without touching Social Security, and you won't even balance it, much less begin to repay it. The pain that is coming is coming. When you call me up and you tell me that you make $2,000 a month and your house payment is 1500 I will tell you you are going to lose your home. You have two choices. You can sell it or they will foreclose. But mathematically, you are going to lose your home. Social Security and Medicaid Medicare is going to have a problem. We are either going to choose to give it a problem or it's going to fail and we are all going to have a problem. It's the 9,000 pound elephant sitting on your foot in your living room that no one's talking about. Do I want your grandmother to not be able to eat? No. I love your grandmother and I want her to eat. But she's getting ready to get a pay cut. That's not a political statement. It's not even a suggestion. It's a mathematical fact. We're past the point of no return. This is going to be painful. I wonder if anyone in Washington is ever going to have the uh, backbone to say what's going to have to happen. It sure is politically incorrect. I bet I get hate mail all day. What do you want to bet? This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Yeah.